Have you ever pondered the solitude of our universe? Are we truly alone? This question, so profound in its simplicity, has captivated the minds of humanity for centuries. It's no secret that the existence of extraterrestrial life has been the subject of countless debates, theories and beliefs. From ancient legends of celestial beings to modern tales of unidentified flying objects, the thought of life beyond our planet is as intriguing as it is mysterious. But here's the kicker. What if I told you that a credible source claims they're already here? Scene script. Enter Gary Nolan, a renowned professor at Stanford University School of Medicine with ties to the CIA. This is no ordinary academic. Nolan is a respected figure in his field, boasting a career filled with notable achievements. His work has spanned across various disciplines, making him a well-rounded scholar with a diverse range of expertise. But what makes Nolan's background particularly intriguing is his connection to the intelligence community and defense contractors. He's not just a professor in a lab, but someone who's been in the trenches, consulting for some of the most high-stakes sectors in the nation. This unique combination of academia and practical experience lends a certain credibility to his assertions. He's not just theorizing from an ivory tower, He's making claims based on a wealth of knowledge and insight drawn from his varied experiences. Nolan's work isn't confined to the classroom or the lab either. He's also analyzed fragments purportedly from unidentified flying objects, and he claims to be in contact with people who are trying to reverse engineer technology from unidentified aerial phenomena. Intriguing, isn't it? Now let's delve into his claims. Scene script. Professor Nolan doesn't just believe in extraterrestrial intelligence. He asserts they've been among us for thousands of years. This claim might sound far-fetched, but coming from a Stanford professor with a background in medicine and consulting for the intelligence community, it's certainly worth a closer look. Firstly, Nolan points to the WOW signal as a piece of compelling evidence. Detected back in 1977, this strong signal has long been considered by many as potential proof of extraterrestrial communication. According to Nolan, it's more than just a possibility. It's a clear sign that we're not alone in the universe. But the wow signal is just the tip of the iceberg. Nolan also draws attention to the increased government focus on unidentified flying objects, or UFOs. It's no secret that government bodies worldwide have been taking a more serious interest in these unexplained phenomena. The establishment of the All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office is a testament to this growing interest. Nolan sees this as further evidence of alien presence, suggesting a shift in the official stance towards the existence of extraterrestrial life. Now you might be thinking, okay, so they're here, but what are they doing? Well, Nolan has an answer for that too. He proposes that these alien intelligences are using advanced technology, like drones and artificial intelligence, to observe us. It's as if Earth is under surveillance, and we're the subjects of an intergalactic study. But it doesn't end there. Nolan goes even further. Nolan doesn't merely speculate, he presents evidence. And it's evidence that's hard to ignore. With a background steeped in academia and extensive consulting experience for the intelligence community and defense contractors, Nolan's claims carry a certain weight. He's not just some random guy on the internet spouting off theories. He's a respected Stanford professor with a reputation to uphold. One of the key pieces of evidence that Nolan brings to the table is his work with fragments that are allegedly from unidentified flying objects, or UFOs. These aren't just random pieces of metal found in a field somewhere. These are fragments that have been analyzed under the precise and discerning eye of a leading scientist. Nolan's analysis has led to some remarkable observations and conclusions, but Nolan's evidence goes beyond physical fragments. He also claims to know individuals who are actively attempting to reverse engineer unidentified aerial phenomena technology, or UAP technology as it's often referred to. The implications of this are staggering. If true, it means that there are people right now, at this very moment, working to understand and replicate technology that originated from an extraterrestrial source. Nolan also points to the potential practical applications of alien technology. He talks about the possibility of this technology being funded through venture capital, which opens up a whole new avenue for technological advancements. Imagine the possibilities of harnessing technology that is potentially light years ahead of our own. The advancements in fields like energy, transportation, communication and more could be revolutionary. The evidence that Nolan presents is compelling. It's not just a wild theory. It's a collection of observations, analyses, 
and first-hand accounts that suggest that we are not alone in the universe. And not only are we not alone, but these other intelligences are already here, observing us, perhaps even interacting with us in ways we don't yet fully understand. Extraterrestrial intelligence, according to Nolan, is not a question of if, but a reality of now. It's a bold claim, but one that Nolan backs up with an array of evidence that is as fascinating as it is thought-provoking. So, what have we learned from Professor Nolan's assertions? In our journey through this intriguing narrative, we've delved into the profound claims of Stanford professor Gary Nolan. He boldly asserts that extraterrestrial intelligence has not only visited our planet, but has been here for thousands of years. This is a proclamation that challenges our understanding of the universe and our place within it. Nolan points to the WOW signal, a potent signal detected back in 1977 as evidence of alien communication. He also highlights the escalated government focus on unidentified aerial phenomena and the establishment of the All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office. Nolan's belief extends to the idea that alien intelligences are using advanced technologies such as drones and artificial intelligence to observe humanity. His extensive academic background and previous work with the intelligence community and defense contractors add a layer of credibility to these extraordinary claims. Furthermore, he has analyzed fragments alleged to be from UFOs and purports to know individuals who are attempting to reverse engineer UAP technology. The potential applications of such alien technology, if it exists and can be understood, could revolutionize our world in ways we can hardly imagine. However, it's essential to remember that these claims, while fascinating, remain unproven. They challenge our current understanding of the universe and demand rigorous scientific scrutiny. If validated, they could fundamentally alter our perception of life beyond Earth and our role in the cosmic theater. Whether you believe in extraterrestrial life or not, Nolan's claims certainly provide food for thought. Until next time, keep exploring the universe's mysteries.